swims 100 laps a day, and she's very interested in cycling. Not only that, she's making an impressive name for herself in the music world, and she has a brand new movie coming out in March. So now meet Madonna. <laughs> and be a star. That's what I told my father. I don't know what I was going to do, but here I am. Yes, Madonna has arrived. A star she is, not only in New York, but all over the world. But don't get the wrong idea. This is no overnight success story, at least not to Madonna. It's not like I just decided I wanted to do something and everything happened for me. In 1977, a headstrong Madonna Louise Ciccone packed her bags, bid her father and Detroit farewell, and pointed her toes towards New York in hopes of making it as a dancer. She danced professionally for two years, then turned to music where she started as a drummer, but Madonna wasn't satisfied. I wanted to be a performer and I wanted to be, um, you know, on stage, but I wanted to use my voice as well, so then I started singing and one thing led to another and I got a record deal. The deal came seven years, three bands, and four producers later, but with it, she wound up on top. Her first album, entitled Madonna, produced four hits, Burning Up, Holiday, Borderline, and Lucky Star. And with each hit came a hot rock video. the careers of music stars were made on the road and in concert. Nowadays, a record company strikes a deal with MTV and presto, you reach millions. But just making a video doesn't do it. Being Madonna in a video does it. Well, rock videos are Madonna's baby. One displays a feverish passion, a long, slow tease with a bodily blend of girlish innocence and carnal knowledge. Madonna wouldn't have it any other way. In a video, I'm in complete control of everything. It's all centered around me. I pick everyone, the director, the people involved, the, the script, you know, everything and what I wear. And her look is all part of the package. It's the Madonna trademark. Youthful, modern, sexy, and very deliberate. First of all, nothing matches. I don't wear, I, and I try not to look too symmetrical. I never wear the same earrings on either ear, and I like to wear things that clash. Perhaps the biggest influence in her style and appearance is her best friend and one of her few female friends, French designer Mary Paul, whose rubber bracelets and earrings Madonna is making famous. Whenever I do, um, you know, photo sessions for um, a magazine or if I'm doing, you know, video or TV or whatever, or even a live performance, Mary Paul comes and helps me with the whole stylization of it. it helps me put my clothes together, gives me the jewelry to wear, and it just has an eye for the whole, the whole look of everything. As her fame and fortune grow, so grows Madonna into a new medium, film, major motion pictures. This spring, Desperately Seeking Susan, a new wave comedy, will be released with Madonna in the lead role, a role that hits home. She's a very free-spirited, adventurous girl. She, she's just pretty irresponsible. She likes adventure. Um, and, every, and people follow her wherever she goes. She's a real, she's a pivotal like point of interest to all the people in the movie. And um, I can identify in a lot of ways with her character. And with her new movie awaiting release, Madonna's second album is climbing the charts with yet another steamy rock video to the title track. <laughs> is Madonna, an ambitious 24-year-old businesswoman, trendsetter, and pop star, with a career she planned, built, and for now, seems to have conquered. But for Madonna, success comes with mixed emotions. It was more fun walking around being anonymous, and just being looked at and thought I was interesting looking. Now, now people think that they can come up to you and, you know, ask you for your phone number and stuff, because they know who you are. There's, you feel a lot more vulnerable.
completed a tour of Japan, and she will be touring in the United States in the early spring, but there's no word on whether she'll stop in Philadelphia yet.